Hello and welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival Reforged Eden 1.7. My name is Spanj. Welcome back to my dark corner of roggery. Uh, this near the south. Oh, because apparently I hate uh, I hate light. So there we go. There's that. Uh, we have got still our mission to do uh, for the Polaris. Uh, it's plausible deniability to go and deal with that that tower, but we do need to upgrade our stuff before we can really go over there. To be honest. Um, and then I think uh, we shall proceed wherever the missions take us. But first, before we do that, we want to take on this assembly yard. And there's also this workshop over here. That's junk, uh, but that workshop might be uh, worth visiting. There's a burial chamber here as well. Burial chamber is pretty good. It's within Talon territory, so we've got to be very careful about what we do over there. Uh, but the POI itself is not Talon, so I think we can go in and kill everything in there. Um, no problem. Might even get us some Talon rep. If we're lucky. I just saw a player in there complete that, so it's probably going to be a little while. We need to wait until that regenerates before we can have a go at it. And, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Um, there is something that I've been uh, failing to look at, and that is this, this character class system here. Oh, we can activate it. Character class system allows players to select a skill class for their character that will amplify their combat effectiveness using a chosen set of weapons. By activating this mission for the first time, you'll be you will automatically open the class selection window. Once you have chosen your main class, activating this mission again will display your current skill efficiency and level. Upon reaching class level 5, you'll be able to choose a subclass that will provide new skills and new abilities. Let's go ahead and activate that, shall we? Class window. Okay. Welcome to the class system commander. I'll instruct you on each of the different classes and what they specialize in and how to improve your own class level. First, you may choose only one main character class. Only upon mastering that class can you choose a subclass. Okay. You may only possess one main class and one subclass, Commander. However, there are special rank classes that can be obtained by completing any number of special tasks, events, or achievements. Each character class is unique. Somewhere. This goes on a bit, doesn't it? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it improves your weapon specializations. A soldier specializes in automatic rifles, grenade launchers, marksmen, sniper rifles, lasers, and crossbows. Agent, pistols, submachine guns, lasers. Specializes a vanguard in shotguns and miniguns. Specialist, flamethrowers, plasma cannons, and alien weaponry. Engineer, non-combat, specialized in multi-tools, drills, and chainsaws, with a bonus to warp drive range. Well, well, well. <laughs> okay, well, as a member of the uh, Scavenger Alliance, my instant, re, uh, inst instant instinct is to go with Engineer. Which is kind of boring though, isn't it? Is that is that me that seems kind of boring? Specialist was the most fun one with flamethrowers and plasma cannons and alien weaponry and whatnot. Um, but we're, uh, I don't know. Yeah, shotguns and miniguns sounds great. Specialising pistols, submachine guns and laser pistols. Yeah. Sniper rifles, laser rifles and crossbows. I mean, I do like a good old sniper rifle. Don't get me wrong. That is delicious. Uh, laser rifles are also my favourites as well. Snipers and lasers. Marksman may be the way to go. But uh, from a sort of roleplay point of view, the fact that we're going into scavenging, multi-tools, drills, and chainsaws, baby. I think that's what we're going to be doing. Though it does sound rather boring, doesn't it? <laughs> if you pick a class you are not comfortable with, you cannot change to another one. So ensure that you are picking a class that best suits your combat style. I mean, combat style. Who chooses engineer? Who chooses engineer? Come on. Let's pr let's proceed with the marksman class because come it's it's told me to pick a combat style engineer not a combat style I feel like that's failing the mission we're going marksman you can't talk me out of it because I'm in the past <laughs> sniper rifles laser rifles crossbows I mean crossbows meh but each class level weapon uh, will, will increase damage reload speed accuracy and reduce reduce recoil. Uh, with their weapons. Very nice. Sniper rifle, heavy sniper rifle, M77 anti tank rifle, Xerox marksman laser rifle, advanced laser rifle, plasma rifle, repeating crossbow, and plasma crossbow. Ooh, plasma crossbow sounds great. Uh, confirm. You are now a confirmed marksman as your main character class. You will not be able to change your class, but when you have successfully leveled your character uh, to five, you may choose a subclass. Sweet. Okay, you can check your current class statistics at any time by activating the class system mission in your PDA. Good luck, Commander. Thank you very much. We're a marksman. Excellent. I feel that's pretty natural for me. 
Kill 100 Xerax troopers of any kind using a sniper rifle, laser rifle, or crossbow. Proceed. Okay. I mean, we're going to be uh, we're not going to be killing Xerax for a little while yet. Um, we are going to be going to kill some alien scumbaggery. Uh, let's have a look. See what uh, what's our. Okay, we still have less than three days to go on that. You're done doing what you were doing. You were doing. Oh, you bastard! You've eaten all my crushed stone, haven't you? Sent up, up the hatch. Thought I told you to make more silicon than that. Yeah, I'm gonna go out and get more crushed stone because it ate all my crushed stone to produce all these ingots, even though I calculated it so that the. Yeah, okay. Well, sucks. I knew I should have moved it to a different box, but this guy was busy making ammunition for me, so he didn't. Anyway, there's the shotgun rounds uh, for the shotgun. What I have kitted myself out with here is. Um, the SMG, the submachine gun, uses pistol rounds, has two firing modes single left click, rapid fire, and right click, single shot, semi automatic. Lovely little gun, actually, early on. Doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but it's an early game weapon. The sniper rifle, of course, which you've seen me use already, and now the shotgun for emergencies. So that's three different weapon classes, isn't it? Because that's a pistol, that's a marksman, and that's a whatever it is. <laughs> it's just. That's my playstyle. A little bit of everything. Um, cannot compute or something. Right. There should be a commando class where you just kind of specialize in a bit of everything. Uh, but nothing like of the super weapon kind of things. Anyway, right. We are going to go and I don't know if these shutter doors are going to open. I think I need to put a signal relay there or something. Hi. There we go. We have successfully exited. Yeah, definitely gonna have to put a motion sensor there to open and close that. Okay, that's something we can do later. Now that the sun is about to set, let us go into this abandoned assembly yard then. And see what we have. I seem to remember this one, I've done it before. Um, it's, it's a lovely little POI. It's a nasty little bastard as well. It can really catch you out. But from what I can remember, it has got some loot and that's what we are interested in today did i empty all the boxes apart from the ammo container of course yes i did there's much going on in the boxes of this thing but there we go we might have to do several runs back and forth to unload reload and everything but uh, let's start with the top level of this assembly yard wonderful build uh we got boxes here like this fantastic let's chuck you straight in there lovely titanium plates Fabulous. Titanium plates are, are great for a factory. They count towards any titanium cost you have in your factory. Not so good for crafting uh, from things that require titanium ingots, I tell you. Two capacitors. They are pretty expensive, so that's pretty good. Okay, um, and that goes down. I don't think there's anything below us, is there? I fell. No, I don't think there is. You're fine. At ease. Stop it. Pack it in. Let's go up there. There's a door there. This is where I think we start to find some bad guys, guys. We are in improved light armor. Yep. That's the sound of. Hello. Where are you? Oh, God. That's just not what you want to see, is it? I can't even hit him. That was so weird. <laughs> I was like, oh god, here we go. Where did he go? He's down there. Alright, level one abomination. The SMG really took its time on that one, didn't it? Nothing in there? Okay. That was horrible. <laughs> it kind of like uh, it mated with us, I think. It tempted to, anyway. Not good, okay. We'll switch to something a little bit heavy hitting then. That's a sentry gun over there. Try and take that out. Bingo, there we go. Look at all these boxes though. This is brilliant. And this is all like nice and easy to acquire loot. 
It's all components and things like that. Not bad. Good stuff. Uh, a lot of this we can chuck in the factory towards the cost of that CV. Uh, there's a loot container there, which I think we... Oh, you son of a... <laughs> you son of a restart! Uh, I think we'll have to pop the core in order to get that, actually. You son of a restart. Okay. That is a beautiful, large constructor. I want to take it apart. I'll take it apart and have it as my own. The model of that is just fantastic. Vermillion has done a wonderful job. Look at <laughs> I love that. The little, uh, the little components, things like that. I, I don't think it's animated or anything. When it starts, it'll be lovely if his little arms start moving around and and, uh, and stuff like that. But, uh, oh, it looks fantastic. I love the fact that you've got little boxes here, supplies. You stand on this thing. It's all separate. There's an output little chute. It's an input little chute that you can line up with boxes and stuff. Oh, yeah. Good model. Thank you, Vermillion. Uh, right, we got a server restart inbound. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. I hear footsteps everywhere. Bingo. This is why we went marksman. But now that I've said that, I'm probably going to whiff my next 15 shots. <laughs> If I was guaranteed, I'm going to whiff my next 15 shots. This is what we came here for. These, all these containers here, super easy loot. I know it's nothing like special to write home about or anything, but hey, I mean, you know, there's some money. There's a multi-tool charge. Um, we're almost out of room already. Just filling up on what's in these boxes. And this is good stuff, guys. This is not to be sniffed at. At this level, this is good stuff. This is important. Um, bits and bobs. So we're very happy with that. All right, we've got to be careful now because you hear scorpions and they are uh, nasty pieces of work. We're almost full. We're full. Warning, server restart in three minutes. Okay, let's um, put you into the small box. What we can do is we can connect to this and things like the scrap, I think, have to be melted down in a furnace. But titanium plates, capacitors, little silicon and stuff, that's all stuff that's going to be useful towards um, our blueprint. And it's, it's kind of a shame to put it in the factory as well because it's also stuff that we need for just general rafting and things like that. But if we're going to get loads more of this as we explore this POI. Um, so we're just going to chuck that in there like that. Probably easier to do it by just moving it over to my inventory and then shift clicking it in from there. Safety and plates. Don't need safety and plates. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to log out and come back to this, but that's where I'll be going next. Um, I'm going to put myself outside. Oh, yeah, that door is locked. Uh, quick, 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 quick. I do not want to be booted out of the server inside the POI just because uh, if it resets for any reason, I don't think it will, but if it resets, I don't want to be in the monks or the bad guys when that happens. Okay, so two seconds and we'll be right back. Yeah, and we're back. We are back. Everything seems fine. It hasn't reset at all. So let's press on. Uh, we've actually got a down. I think we have to go down eventually. Uh, but let's go up just a ball because there is this little bit here. And there's a little Scorpy Scorps right there. And I'm not sure there's anything else in here. Let me see if I can reload my rifle. And <laughs> snipe his little tail. Get down! Scorpion dead. Alright, let's uh, get our loot on, shall we? Shotgun shells, some medical stuffs. And the all-important... Yars! <laughs> Very much. Look at that. That's beautiful. Um, that's that's the ship full. Holy crap. Uh, can we take some more? Can we take some more? And can we take some more? Yes, we can. Um, I just have to carry the rest of this in our backpack. Could it be anything up here? Uh, and then go drop it off at base and then come back and carry on. Because right now... Can I get that? Did that did that loot or did it not? Yeah, I did loot. Flux core, beautiful. 
Uh, everything else I think is we're now too heavy for. So let's get quickly back to base. This is this is really why I set the base where I did, because now we can do the back and forth. It's a little arduous and repetitive, um, but you know. That's the biggest ship I have at the moment until I can upgrade it with new thrusters and CPU because it is max CPU currently. So I need to be able to build uh, the tier one extender and then I can put new thrusters and storages and things like that on it. Okay, so let's drop this off and then let's get back to it. You wonder what this switch does? That switch opens things. Ah, that switch opened that one. It sounded like it opened something up here as well. Yeah, roof time. Lovely. Not sure why we would need to be up here, but um, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Uh, there we go. It's nice to have a little bit of access. Uh, okay, cool. Is there like um, anything else up here that maybe I'm missing? Walkway. Great build, this, isn't it? Good build. Lots of detail. Uh, right, let's get down into the lower section then. And uh, that's where I think the next phase of this place goes. And I think that's where it's going to actually kill us. Um, <laughs> we could try and be very careful. But uh, yeah, this is where it gets dicey. It's not a massive POI, this. I think once we go down here, it really kicks off. And then, um, then we're fine. Get rid of that sentry gun, please. I'm just glad it's not shooting me right now, so I'm not going to move from this. I think the, uh, the railing is being a beautiful safety railing right there. All right, this is where I'm expecting scorps and... Yep. Scorps from the ceiling. Cheeky. Wait, doesn't this whole area blow up or something? Oh, ooh, crap. Okay, one abomination. Two abominations. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it's a holy abomination. <laughs> Never seen that before. That's weird. Weird, weird, weird. All right, we got some rads. Uh, there's a shotgun. There's some plant things, some more plant things. Some more improved knight's armor, uh, an SMG. I'm getting loads of stuff I've already got. Come on. <laughs> Give me a plasma cannon. <laughs> it's not asking for much, is it? Um, maybe. I'm, I'm tempted. I'm not. I'm, I'm really cautious about moving forward because I'm pretty sure something explodes uh, in, in a minute. Let's um, chuck all this into here. And the fridge. Yep, there we go, okay. Empty these boxes. Okie dokie. We go up here. Oh, look at this. This looks far too tempting. It's gonna screw me somehow, isn't it? Look at all the goodies, all the goodies, all the goodies. And the corner goodies. Ah, damn it, we're full again. <laughs> uh, we could do this, we could do this, we could do this. I need to reload into the factory again to clear down, but we're so close to finishing this thing, I think. Okay, this is, I think, what sets it all off. This switch here. I knew it. I freaking knew it. It's just like Vermilion to set a little trap behind me. Okay. What the hell? The hitbox on that blast door is extending. Yeah, okay, we can't shoot through blast doors anymore. I wonder if he's done that on purpose, because uh, they were getting stuck on there, so... Now you can't just sit the other side of it. And... Son of a... I knew you were there as well. 
I just forgot you were there. Little uh, pew 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 of the uh, sentry guns now. There we go. Get rid of that guy. It's kind of cool. All right. A lot of these little containers here that we can loot. Um, let's sit on the um, the thing a second and chuck some of this stuff into the factory. I think. Oh, cobalt required. Okay, so we've well, for the, I suppose we could put another ship in there and, and fill it out even more. But uh, there is a M60 hollow sight pistol here, which may be better than the SMG. Um, damage is 80 compared to 54. We can give it a go. But to be honest, probably going to stick with this bad boy. Because, uh, you know, it's a bad boy. Ah, oxygen. More oxygen. Water and oxygen. I mean, I haven't put any uh, water collectors down in the water yet. But it looks like I might not even need to. Uh, that's beautiful. Um, okay, through the door then. They're only level ones, so you might be like, wow, great shooting. They're only level ones. Whoa! Genuinely made me jump. <laughs> Woo. Is he shooting a ow? Shooting a sentry gun. There we go. And a bastard comes out of nowhere. <laughs> These are the things I was hoping to find. Fuel. And we're gonna have to take the core out before it will let us take those fuel tanks out, but uh a taxid night vision. That can go in my inventory. To be honest. Anything else? Laser rifle rounds of magnesium. That's beautiful as well. Okay, so our storage is full again. I feel like this is where I die. But I think that's the core. Fusion cell. Beautiful. Nine rads we're getting in here. Cannot stay here long. But there we go. That's it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. 66. Um, aluminium. Okay, what else can I uh, skim into the uh, factory? The uh, Yeah, we can't do that. We can maybe do the force fields. Oh, an advanced multi-tool. You absolute beautiful boy. That is... <laughs> that alone just makes this whole thing massively worth it. Awesome. The near I need to keep because that is vital for building engines and stuff. So... Uh, let's see if we can offload that into these places now. Oh, damn it. Okay, how about me? Yes, okay, good. Right, let's get this back to base then, uh, and then we can come back here and put our new, our new swanky pants multi-tool uh, to use at least, le at least for 250 uh, shots anyway, because that's all we've got uh, in there. Some ammo and some bullets okay all right we want to get the fuel out of the boxes and we want to get the oxygen out of the oxygen and we want to salvage as much stuff into uh our factory as we can okay quick run back then wait where the hell am i oh there we go Alrighty, so we can start taking this all apart now now because um this is a multiplayer server and these pois regenerate uh 
you cannot get whole blocks back but you, you can uh, but you have to be very very lucky to do it so um, generally what I'm gonna oh my god <laughs> wow <laughs> uh, let's fill this back a second hang on they got a plan for this okay so that that uh, you but that all in in me <laughs> it sounds wrong doesn't it oh, well the, the uh silicon doesn't go in there we are probably going to need to put a bigger ship but the thing is i don't want to overspend into the factory when we actually need these materials uh down on the ground you know uh so you can you can set it on the full retrieve blocks mode in the multi-tool here but you're very unlikely to get a whole block out of it well looks like we got a, a cargo box out of it at least anyway uh the only problem with retrieving the whole blocks is that you retrieve the entire mass of that block as well so if your storage can't take it um then it becomes a problem so everything everything in here is oh, wow increased full already um there's the problem with these tiny teeny tiny little boxes Tiny, tiny little boxes. Um, let's keep the the silicon on me then. There we go. Right, we we'll get through this. Ah, oh, I'm so glad that all that whole thing picked up. We got the whole block. I mean, the whole like load of um, stuff. <laughs> I can't believe that thing's pretty full. Uh, we'll have that that C4 actually. Love to have a bit of C4 on me. That's always bloody useful. That is. So I'm still salvaging down here, and um, you can see the little the sort of makeshift CV thing here. We're about 800 of the 1600 iron already, and I've not even started taking apart uh, the, just the raw blocks. And um, the carbon substrate is coming up nicely as well at uh, 1800. That light there. See if I can get that into the factory as well. Whole blocks are always good. They generally um, contain more. Oh, hello. Did I not do you? Guess not. Have you in? But yeah, this is essentially all I've been doing here is taking away all the sort of the good bits, as it were, and um, pumping them into the factory when I can. Now, obviously, by not loading up a, another blueprint, I can make sure that I'm only putting in things that actually contribute there too. Um, the blueprint costs and I'm not overloading the factory. All the other resources then go to my base and I can use them to build uh, components for the damn ship when we bring it in. Well, it's good to know that Imperial never changes. I have a ghost ship. <laughs> I don't, I've never seen this happen to a player ship before. It's completely ghosted. <laughs> I can just fly through anything. Nothing. Uh... There you go. <laughs> it's like a phased, phased float drive. I can probably just glitch through a Xerox POI, pop out in the core room. <laughs> it's just the problem with this is that um... now I can't park the ship, and I'm also really afraid to get out of it. Okay, getting out of it seems to make it real again. Hey, okay, maybe it's not so bad. Temporary, uh, temporary ghost ship. Everything's fine. You, why can't you get in here? There you go. There you go. You did before. You will again. You want to maybe dock to the base? No? Okay. We'll, we'll not make you dock. We'll not make you dock. I mean, it's probably because the base is private and the ship is not. And if I do that, it will probably go. Click. There we go. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> After that, that was fun. Uh, we have got quite a lot of stuff now in our crafting boxes, as you can see. Uh, we're looking pretty good. That was just one, one friggin' POI. And our ship is uh, very close to getting all the iron. In fact, I can just go back and get that from salvaging some more blocks um, from there before it regenerates. And then, uh, and then we'll have the iron. The carbon substrate is not far behind either. But uh, we only really get that from devices. The raw blocks that are left will only contributors iron now uh so that's fine i want to before we start upgrading the dropper let's go and check out this abandoned workshop i just need to refuel the dropper a little bit because it is looking a little ropey on the fuel side three percent three percent but you know what <laughs> we got a freaking fusion cell 
Uh, we've got fuel cells. We are great. That is the first time that has been a full fuel tank for a while. The base could probably do uh, with the rest of those. When it kicks in. There you go. There we go. Right, cool. Uh, so that gives us a 45 hour uh, power because the constructors are switched off at the moment. Just a quick check on our current less than one day. So very, very soon we are going to be having a Xerax incursion. Okay, let's take you to the workshop then. Let's see what that's all about. This one is a little further away. So the whole back and forth thing that I just did with the uh, assembly yard is not going to be quite as uh, easy to do here. Uh, I've not done this one before, so I have no idea what sort of size it is. I hear you, and I see you, Mr. Raptor. Although I cannot hit you. Also, wasting 15 mil on these guys is completely the end of your waste. Okay, let's land. Power down the thrusters. Pop out. Oh, look. Fight! I resolved it for you. You absolute ass bandit. Infected wound. Crap. Woo! Spiders! Uh, infected wound. I'm not sure what I can do against that. Hang on, I need to look it up. Let's clear the area. I haven't got any, like, um... Get this meat here. Good stuff. Okay, I think I'm probably going to have to go back to base uh, to deal with this infected wound. It is uh, antibiotic pills, injection, or a trauma kit. And is there any, like, thing in here that's going to give me, like, a... Uh, meds or anything, it doesn't look like it. Just spiders. Just spiders. Okay, we might need to go back. Deal with our injuries. Um, maybe we can cook some food, actually. Oh, okay, abandoned workshop, we'll have to wait a little bit. We got, we got ambushed by an assassin. He's put the cooties on us. We need to go and deal with the cooties. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so I just needed some herbal leaves and plant protein, and this thing gives me a 25% chance to cure the infected wound. The other option is that I craft a, um, a medical station, and that's probably going to be the more reliable option. Let me see. First of all, I probably need to unlock the bloody medical station, don't I? Where are you? There you are, medical devices. I don't know if I can build them in here. Base. You're going to tell me I need a large constructor, aren't you? Yeah, it's going to tell me I need a large constructor. Okay, well, output to a large constructor then. And turn you on. Build me a large constructor. Let's roll the dice. Treated it. Fantastic. It's got the green circle around the outside now. It is treated, which means it's not going to escalate and go bad. Um, excellent stuff. So as soon as that green little thing is finished, it's going to stop killing us. Um, what it does possibly uh, we may need to spend some time actually getting some... Oh, that gives you a 40% infected wound. Let me take that with me. I didn't even realise I had that. Energy pills. Get me out of stunned. Bad trip. I've got some fruit juice on me, don't I? Yeah, just one though. Um, trumpet greens. Nothing. Medicinal growth and stuff like that. Lose a steak in there. Let me fill up on that a bit. That's going to top my, my uh, health up a little. Steak is freaking legit. <laughs> you see that? Damn. <laughs> uh, right, the other problem is of getting a large constructor. Can we take it? Yes, we can. We've got an 80,000 CPU. Um, just in case of where the hell do we put it. I think we move these two. Put, it, put the large one there and put the other two somewhere else. Um, so that should be done soon. But I think we're okay to carry on. We've got our injection, just in case we get more cooties. I would like some... Um, uh, some bandages, but I will need to go out and get more plant protein for that. So let's just go back to the workshop and try this one more time, shall we? Okay, we are back. Let's try this again, shall we? We've lost what a what little day we had over here, but all the abandoned things seem to be down here in the south for some reason. And these really are 
the best POIs to, to get you going early on. You don't have to fight them, you don't have to fight turrets, uh, shields, drones, usually. Uh, anything like that to get in here, you can just jump in. I think I remember what happens. I think I have been here before. Ah, ah. My spidey senses are tingling. A vague memory of being detonated uh, has come back to me. Literally <laughs> detonated as well. Now, I don't know how to trigger that without getting real close to it and potentially getting detonated again. But the entire, f from what I think happens, the entire floor gives way and blows up. Um, I love these things that Vermilion built. They are based on the constructors in Satisfactory. <laughs> they look awesome. <laughs> Sorry, uh, coffee stain. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't mean anything. I want to get closer to it. I want to. I want to set it off without dying. Oh god, it's going to be a really loud explosion, isn't it? They kill me, I swear. You don't want to die. Just go off already. Come on. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> yeah, bastard. Uh, steak in the fridge. Not that the fridge is running right now. Yeah. Okay. Can I put C4 on that? I'm so afraid of this thing just exploding in my face. I know it's going to happen. And... How much health has that thing got? 212. Jeez. Yes. Oh, nice. Undelivered cargo. That, I thought, would open. But maybe it's on a switch or something I'm not seeing. Is there a switch somewhere? Because I don't have more C4 on me. <laughs> And I wanna go in there. Da 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 da. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's not an explodey one. Did he change it then? He changed it from explodey to collapsey. Yay! Yay, no, I'm not insta death. Okay, good. I can save my C4. Um, Right, we can go down. Let me off. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't want to. It looks scary. Yeah! Okay. Um, there's a motion sensor. Can we destroy it so it doesn't set things off? I'm sure it's probably already done what it's supposed to be doing, but I'm like, hmm, can we cheese it a little bit? Let's go motion sensor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No triggering for you. No uh, doing whatever you are going to do. I am way smarter than you. Ha <laughs> ha! I hear them. It sounds like they're right on top of me. I can hear the little footsteps around. Can you hear that? It seems like they're closing in on me! <laughs> it's so freaky! Right, okay, I see... Um... Yeah, yeah, this place is a little bit bigger than I thought it was, actually. Hi! Oh! Switch weapons, quickly! Why is the shotgun garbage all of a sudden? What the hell? Shotgun used to be elite, this thing is garbage! It should take five shots to kill a... Scorp? Go away, go away spider! Go away spider! Go away other spider! Oh my lord! That was gnarly. Fortunately, I uh, managed to get out of that without any crazy status effects. But the other spider has run away. Down you go. Okay, let's uh, let's release the abomination. Snipe him in the head. Now he's not a threat. Yeah, this place, this place is cool. Okay. Get these boxes. Multi tool, sell, multi tool charge we can use. Um, and that's it, isn't it? It's just those three. The rest is actually stuff I could salvage later. Okay, cool. 
Good, 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 good. I have got a medical thingy detox kit there, which is excellent. All right, let's go this way. Eh. Um, I love these little, these, these sort of tier one abandoned POIs. They're, they're just fantastic. They kind of really, really well uh, in introduction to the bigger. Uh, more well-known abandoned POIs. These little ones, they're kind of like uh, with the tier one guns. Very well balanced, I've got to say. got to give it to um, Familiar there. He's done a good job. As he always does. Well, mostly. That doesn't open. Okay, fine. We will go around. Lock code. Huh. Okay. God, it's getting creepy again. Did I meet? Is going Pick up your meat. Check those corners. Check those corners. Oh, radiation boost. Lovely. Stay frosty. I think this goes back out, doesn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. Might be wrong because this isn't looking like it's going out. It's going up, but it's like because uh, oh, hello. Uh, that up there is is that not the um the uh, the shutter door I was trying to explode from the beginning of this POI? No, no, it's just a uh, dead end. All right, cool, fine. Let's proceed along here then. Whatever happened to this place? It got messed up. Whiff! 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 Gun! <laughs> right. No more whiffing, yeah? Accurate shots only. Don't you even think about it, sunshine! I'll have that steak. Weak, satisfying food. Eh, I'll have the cheese as well. Then it's steak and cheese, and that's very satisfying. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crap. Do, 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 do. Not ready for that just yet. Let me hit this switch first, and then we can maybe go down there and die. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There is loot down there, and I do want it. But at the same time, I feel like the POI is trying to force me down there. And, uh... I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't want to do what the POI tells you to do. I want to do what I want to do. Let's pick up those sniper rounds. Delicious. Okay. So much detail in these places. It's fantastic. Oh. Here lies a door. Right. Loot that way as well. This place is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little trash POI. And here I am exploring a large underground dungeon. It's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to go down that hole that the POI tried to trick me down because I don't want to miss out on the opportunity. Ah, oh, beautiful. Don't get those sorts of meds. That is absolute freaking amazing when that happens. Uh, right, let's just offload, not into the fridge, but into reasonable containers. This stuff. There's all of this. I want to keep that. That is amazing. That can go in there. That can go in there. That is... Minigun rounds. Damn it, I thought it was sniper rounds. Never mind. And in the fridge with you. Even though the ship is switched off and that fridge is doing nothing. Right, are we ready? Let's go down. And introduce ourselves, introduce ourselves to nothing. Okay, good. I thought we were going to get ganked down there, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, that is probably the iron we need for the ship. Never mind, no, it's not. Damn. Close, though. Close, though. Not, not far off at all. Right. A few more bits and bobs. Some foods, some barrel stuff, more foods, and thing. And that's the lock code still. I'm guessing that it's all fours. Four, 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 four. Wrong code. Okay, whatever's behind that box is the, the middle digit of that code. We will find out. Ah. Damn it, with the parkour fail. I don't have a jetpack boost, so I'm actually not sure if we can get out of here. Uh, can I 
destroy that. No. Well, I could probably destroy it if I bomb it. Is that a two? Do you think that's a two? Let's try four, four, two, four. Yeah! Absolutely nailed it. Nailed it! Can't fool me. Let's move on, shall we? <laughs> okay, uh, this way. That's where we fell down. We've been through there. This is broken, so we're through this hole. Alright, here we go. Holy moly! That was a lot of them. Let's see if we can shoot them through here. The answer is yes, we can. Get out of here, infiltrate Creel. Creel doing it. It's spiders, no less. He doesn't actually say Creel. Well, I'll give you a shot. Bingo. Right, he's the one I'm afraid of. The spiders I can deal with. I hate that reloading and looting are uh, things that have to be done separately. Reloading is a perfect time to do looting. Like efficiency wise, you know? But looting uh, while you're reloading resets the reload. It's uh, irritating. Pistol, laser pistol rounds. Are you, are you here at an abomination somewhere? Meds, always welcome, always welcome. Loot, always welcome, always welcome. Okay, yeah, because I accidentally sold my night vision goggles, but now I have two, which is lovely. <laughs> let's uh, do a little pause. Uh, let's see if we can offload some more stuff into here, clear it up a little bit. Empty inventory, we're ready to continue. Ah, huh. oh, what do you know? That's weird. Oh, it's locked. Uh, have I missed something? Yes, I have. Sneaky little switch. <laughs> There's a sneaky little switch as well. That lets me back outside, right? I still hear monsters. I'm still hearing them. So, as confused. That still won't open. Ooh, crap. Yeah. Uh, I haven't. What about that? Uh, okay. Yeah, there's still monsters down there, so I don't know what's, uh, what I'm missing. Let's go back through it again real quick. Oh, come on! You gotta give me some credit for that shooting, right? <laughs> that was close. I'm glad this thing's got 14 rounds in it. Oh, I would have done that right. Oh, Christ. This has just opened up, hasn't it? Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, maybe. Okay. Uh, let's make sure we're all fully loaded. We are. Our three weapons. And we have a melee as well. Just in case. It's gonna be crazy if we have to resort to that, but... Oh boy. This is not to what I wanted. Oh! Yeah, this gun's quite good. I'm kind of warming up to it. It's pretty good. <laughs> It's nice, it's got a high enough clip, uh, like magazine size, to make it quite effective uh, and not make the whiffs so, like, costly. Because the sniper rifle, if you whiff on that, it's like you're doomed. You've only got a six round clip and then you've got to reload for about three hours. Um, so this has got enough damage on it. Uh, actually, pretty good. Right, let's C4 this core. And uh, let's not even look at the explosion. <laughs> there we go. Base is mine. Lovely. Okay, so we're a bit full on the ship. Uh, I can offload 
some more, I think, into the fridge. But ultimately, I think we're done here on terms of uh, stuff that we can either get into the factory or we can fit into the ship. So um, what we should do is go back, empty, and then come back and salvage this. Uh, because there's some good stuff here. There's some good salvage. This is going to get us some more components that we're going to use uh, to build our ship later. For that, that was a fantastic little dungeon. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a goodie. Um, I suppose we can get out of here now via this route, can't we? There we go. Smashing. Right, where's the boat? There's the boat. Let's go. All right, so that's Ned. That's some pretty good stuff. Uh, stuff we can take to the trade station. Uh, we've got some SMGs that we can go and sell. Uh, undelivered cargo that we need to go and put into the uh, the, the galactic network, multi-tools to sell, um, and so on and so forth. So we also got in our input box now, um, yeah, quite a, quite a good amount of stuff. I think we're going to be able to build some components from this. Um, we're going to need to go uh, much further out and go warping about the place. Um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to build like a warp drive and stuff like that and thrusters to make the CV uh, without being able to first build a warp capable SV or managing to cram a warp drive into the dropper here which wasn't my original plan for it if I'm honest it could probably take one but it's going to take up most of this back compartment um, and uh, yeah hmm <laughs> So I'm thinking maybe we need an upgrade of this as well as the CV. I don't know. The dropper's done a, a wonderful little job. It's not the fastest ship, uh, but it's got decent sort of armor on it because it's got a steel hull, twin gats, bit of storage. It's done well. It's done well. Uh, but I'm in real two minds right now. We can bring the, um, the biscuit in now and start building it up. Uh, but the components we need, the neodymium, titanium, and stuff like that, are all off-world in various places around the beta system. So, without being able to build a CV warp drive, we really need an SV warp drive. We also need a lot of storage on that SV. And I'm just not sure the old dropper here is up to the task. So I may disassemble her. And instead, let's uh, start production on this so this is nice and safe in our in our blueprint library. There it is. We've got the resources so we can bring this in at any point. Instead, what I think we might do is bring in the mandible. We reforged a variant of the mandible here. Um, and this thing... Oof. Uh, <laughs> requires 260 restrooms and zygosium. Ouch! Neodymium 412. Ouch! Yeah, that's not even going to be possible, is it? <laughs> not going to work. But the mandible is going to be a lot more upgradable. Uh, it's got a lot more space inside and is going to allow us to get around a lot easier with warping about and stuff. The difficulty with bringing in a, a CV in such like stripped down condition, you can't do anything with it and you have to go out and get all the components bring them back, then manufacture the parts rather than just go out, get the resources, refine them, chuck them in the factory and then pull the ship in. But this is uh, this is the challenge of this series. It really is, uh, well, part one of the challenge, I suppose, is uh, building this thing up bit by bit. So that's the plan, I think. We're going to try and get the, the mandible in. Um, well, yeah, that's actually quite a lot more expensive than I thought it was. We're going to have to turn this into a little miner, I think. Or, no, we're gonna, yeah, it's going to have to be a little mining. Otherwise, we're just not going to get the resources in time. Anyway, right, before we... Uh, oof, it's quite a lot of resources there. Before we kick off uh, this episode, take those two out. Put the large constructor in. There it is. Let's put that, I don't know, uh, put that there one of our little constructors back there maybe the other one there or something that'll do nice little constructing corner i like it right and then you go onto the signal logic of constructors as well turn them all off for a second uh let's check our cpu and uh, we are well within still okay good all right 
so there we go we have a large constructor now and this is going to enable us to get some nice shiny things with the resources that we uh, now have which is excellent so we can get the larger sv thrusters uh, with a bit of titanium we'll be able to get the cpu extenders and um with a bit more of everything else, we'll be able to start getting components for our capital vessel as well. Fantastic. It's good news. This is very good news. All right. I think in the next episode, we need to go back to doing missions again. So we've got the Valara Survey Tower mission over there. I think maybe. How do I re-enable the mission? There we go. Resume mission. There we go. So we've got to go back to the survey tower over here and deal with that. I know that we get attacked there, so uh, now that the drop has got a bunch of ammo and stuff, that's good. Uh, and then we can go back to the trade center, trade station over here, uh, sell a bunch of parts, finish that mission off. We also need to go back to this guy over here uh, and give him the 25 logs that we promised him. I want to also see the leather farm up there, whether we can actually get a bunch of leather to then sell back down here with these guys buying that 500 um, a chop so that could be very profitable if we can get it at a good price from the Talon otherwise there's a huge Talon village here they're also a uh, tannery and stuff so uh, we might be able to get some other missions here or some more goodies there's also this burial chamber which should be regenerated soon um, and that is uh, looking good okay hopefully between all of that we'll start sort of building up a bit more resource these boxes won't last very long, so we will need to replace them eventually with uh, container extensions. That's fine, we can just replace the floor uh, in this base with container extension as we need to. Time being, this base has got 38 power hours of power, constructors off. We've got 43 hours of power, and if we top that up a little bit, 58 hours of power. Uh, so we're good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be all for today. I leave you in the darkness as I began today's episode also in the darkness. I, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.